Hmm. So, it appears I need to go shopping. I didn't even notice I got my new newspaper. I'm delaying myself so much right now, but the neighborhood I live in has its own weekly newspaper. And obviously I, I can't, I'm not really at the level where I can read it and understand it. Most of my Swedish is like spoken, so like I can understand it if I hear it, but I can't necessarily work out the pronunciation of all the words when they're written down. But yeah, so since I can't read it, I like to use it as a, as a doormat. So that's nice, I've got a new doormat for the week. Yay! So I've said this before, but I do most of my shopping at Lidl, where you can find a selection of regular fruit and vegetables, and then also like cheese in every single shape and form. And then also any type of meat in like a, a sliced form is also available. One thing in mainland Europe is that they are so quick at scanning your items. So they actually have this cool thing in Lidl where they have this like separator. So they quickly scan your items, you pay, and then you go around and pack your bag and then there's this separator so the next person's items will go in there while they pay. And for the stuff that I can't find at Lidl, I will go to Ica. The Ica where I live is very fancy. It has 1800 different types of crackers, only carries seasonal fruit and veg, has barista oat milk, and of course essential to every Swedish supermarket, a huge section devoted to Tex-Mex food. <laughs> You know, right before you go into the shower and you look at your hair and you're like, do I need to wash my hair? And then you decide, no, don't to wash my hair yet. And then the second you come out the shower, you're like, mm, should have washed my hair. That's me right now. So anyway, I bought this mirror from Facebook Marketplace yesterday. It was a contactless delivery where she left it outside her apartment, told me how to get into her building, gave me full access to the mirror and just trusted that I would put 300 crown in her post box which I did obviously, but when I was looking for this on Facebook Marketplace, I sometimes get like a bit of a rogue ad, like not to do with what I'm looking for. And I think Facebook just throws that in there just to see if I'll take the bait. And you know, I'm a little weak when it comes to advertising. So they start to show me some like clothing items and I would like click on them and look at them. So when I was looking for this mirror, I saw these trousers and they were looking a bit like dirty. So I clicked on them, just like I was interested in what they were. They were literally trousers that someone had lightly pooped in. They were being sold for 400 crown. They were kind of like you went paintballing and there was only like brown paint and the opposing team just kind of like tricked you into falling over with your butt up over an obstacle and then just fired away. I wish I could show you, but I just, I don't need to scar you guys as well. Like I thought Stockholm was a pretty classy place, you know, like when I go down to take the rubbish out, there's people in the rubbish room wearing a blazer to take that rubbish out. And so imagine my shock when I found these lightly pooped in trousers on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've just had a long and hard five hour day at the library. Hard because of my inability to focus on things for longer than 15 minutes. Uh, but I arrived back to this little package that my mom sent a month ago. <gasps> it's 
my new diary, my 2022 diary. Since I'm graduating this year, I guess I'll be like moving from the academic calendar year to the annual calendar year. It looks really cute and it has my name on it. <laughs> okay, so it has like a yearly overview, monthly overviews, nice. February this week. I'm not eating these for breakfast. It's it's more of like a brunch situation. I did make some brownies though. They are technically vegan, I think, because I used vegan chocolate and oil instead of butter. So, but other than that, it's the tasty recipe. But as I said, substitute the dairy for non-dairy. So I have two friends coming to visit me this week and I'm gonna be a good host so you know gotta have some drinks ready which is actually a tricky thing to do in Stockholm because you can only buy alcohol from like a certain alcohol store system will log it and it's only open like in the middle of the day normally I'm studying at the library so I'm not like around to get alcohol then um, luckily it's open on Saturday, like in the early afternoon. So I think it's just gone past one o'clock now. So it will probably be the busiest time. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm back. I bought two bottles of wine. As I suspected, it was really busy in there. So I did not film any alcohol because like it's, you just don't want to look suspicious in an alcohol store. I was gonna buy some spirits, but I really wanna finish my Jaeger before I buy any more spirits. And then I went to a charity shop to buy a glass because I broke one of the glasses in my apartment. So I tried to find one that looked the same, but they didn't have the exact Ikea glasses. So I'll show you what I got. Um, if I put it in the back of the shelf, maybe my landlady won't notice at the end. And then I was also like, why don't I get some shot glasses just in case? Anyway, everyone is always like, wow, your fridge art is amazing. And I'm already wondering if I'm going to cut this out of the video. about this cable that's literally blocking the shot for some reason the power outlet in my bathroom is just like up there on the top of the medicine cabinet <laughs> you know actually on the metro here like every girl has the most like perfect ponytail and like really immaculate curtain bangs with like the core clip i don't know what's going on here like there's something in the water well there is something in the water i think i mentioned this before but there is a lot of chlorine in the tap water <laughs> okay i've never curled my hair like that before normally i do it like sections like lower middle upper okay cool so now i know that is a bad way to curl your hair nice okay let's do this side as i normally do it then okay oh i didn't put heat protective you know i haven't used hairspray since i did ballet when i was like 10 years old much better. Hey guys. Um, got plans tonight. Sorry, I don't know why I'm being so awkward about this. I'm, I'm going on a date, so I'm just gonna make up. I was actually with some friends from Scandinavia who were explaining to me that it's super safe here to like walk at night and people don't tend to get kidnapped or murdered when they go for their evening run uh which is cool you know it's cool but look at the end of the day i'm from england uh there's some things i can't get out of my head uh you know things i grew up seeing on the news that are just kind of traumatizing and make you not trust any single man ever so we'll be uh sharing my location with my friends 
But in England, when you go out for dinner with your friends and stuff, and you ask to split the bill, it's always kind of a faff, and the restaurants kind of act like no one's ever split the bill in history. But here, when you go out for brunch with your friend, like the waitress just comes over and knows what you had, and is like, okay, you had this with this drink, and so that's gonna be this many crown, and then you had this with this drink, and it's gonna be this many crown, and it's like, whoa. Which is like all good and normal when you are just with your friends. Like I'm not trying to impress my friend at brunch. But here in Sweden, it's the same with dates. So it's not like one person gets one round and then the other person gets the next round. Each time you only pay for what you get. And like people don't really like buy you a drink. And honestly, there is something that is kind of like unromantic about that because it's like you know you're doing something for the other person and then they do something for you in this element it's just not there it's very like individualist okay so this is the first option and i know everyone is like immediately no not the orange maxi dress okay but like are we sure it's an immediate no okay next we have this obviously like Maybe I need a white bra, but I don't know, I feel like it's still too, like, daytime. Also, if you like my posters, I'm boring them since uh, Sophia and Emily are coming over on Thursday. I want to have a bit of decor as opposed to, like, all the plain grey walls I have here instead. Okay, now we've got this. Mmm. I kind of like this. Maybe, like, black jeans? But I like these jeans. They, like... Okay, I'm not gonna have a side for you. I just ate four hash browns, uh, so. Immediately, no, not with jeans. Like it's too going to the library chic. So the dress on its own, no, but with this blue jumper, maybe? Do I look like a waitress? Guys, I've done it. Not the orange slippers, obviously. I think this is it. Yeah, with the jeans, the black jeans, yeah. I'll put in a little black shoe. It's gonna look great. Yeah, it's gonna be on it. Do a little wave! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Hi! <laughs>